Hello Virgo. This is your July monthly love reading. All right, this is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. All right, please uh, please remember that this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all Virgos. So please take the messages that does resonate with you and leave the rest behind. All right, again, this is for Virgo Sun Moon and Rising. All right, if this video resonate with you, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be part of my community um, and bring forth more energies for us to pick up on. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Good grief. Hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you're notified for all uh, videos that come after. Feel free to comment, like the video, share the video. And again, thank you for being here, Virgo. Let's get started. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. So angels and spirits and guides, ancestors and anything else here for our highest good what are the messages for the sign of virgo for the month of july please what are the messages for the sign of virgo for the month of july what energy is coming towards virgo in love for the month of july we're looking for very clear very clear messages all right we're thanking you in advance we're thanking you in advance all right this is for the sign of virgo sun moon rising thank you all right, let's go ahead and cut this deck here, Virgo, and we'll get started. All right, Virgo, your overall energy, six of air. Your person's energy is the six of water. Your energy is the two of earth. Okay, so Virgo, and any cards that fall out, I use them as extras uh, at the end of each reading. So, the energy that you guys are sharing, the overall energy is the six of air. So there's a sense of like there's some movement that's going to get started. If someone's been in or the both of you have been in your heads and you're feeling like you've been thinking things through or ra trying to rationalize things for long enough. And now it's time to make a move. Okay. There's time. There's, it's time to make some form of a move. I feel like your person has is in a energy of being very nostalgic thinking about you or thinking about someone from their past which would have to be you Virgo because this is your reading and they're thinking about when things were good when they how you made them feel emotionally fulfilled how they feel some form of lack right now like they're feeling like they're losing something or they're losing you or they have lost you or they're thinking about things that they did wrong or that like they're having some regrets, but they're very nostalgic right now. And, and just kind of trying to, yeah, they're trying to get past it, but they're, they're very nostalgic right now, thinking about when things were good and how can they get back to that point with you. You're, you have the two of earth, so you're trying to bring in some balance, thinking about your pinnacle, trying to figure out which way uh, do you want to go, maybe career-wise, um, but you're, you're, you're thinking, you're trying to balance yourself, basically, Virgo, and you're, you're kind of standing in your own energy right now, all right? Standing in your own energy. But yeah, this, this card is here, it's about balance, it's about balance. All right, so let's get more, Virgo. What are the messages for the sign of Virgo for the month of July in regards to love? What is the messages? What is the messages here, please? What is the messages for the sign of Virgo? This is for the month of the, July. This is for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. What does Virgo need to know for their highest good for the month of July in regards to all things love? What are the messages, please? What are the messages? This is for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Let's shuffle. All right, thank you. Hmm. Okay. Overall energy, three of air. Your person's energy, empress. Your energy, the hanged man. All right, Virgo. Hold on, Virgo. All right, Virgo, sorry about that. 
So the overall energy is the three of air here. So, uh, and your person's energy is the empress, your energy is the hangman. So with the three of air here, it's like you guys uh, overall are in an energy of feeling like, you know, was this breakup meant to be? Um, feeling like this was like God's way of protecting you. You know, and yes, it's going to hurt for a while, but this is for your greatest good. This is what the both of you are trying to rationalize at this moment. This pain is temporary. You'll get out of it, but you're trying to just accept what is and walk away. Your person is in the energy of the Empress. So your person is in the energy of Empress, and that's on top of the Six of Water. Your person is feeling like um, they, want to, they want to start over with you. They're wanting to start over, right? They're trying to they're trying to get into an energy of their highest, like their higher self. Like they're trying to transform. And they're they're feeling like so your person is wanting to they're wanting to manifest a, be a new beginning with you. They're trying to call. They're trying to call you in. They're, they're wanting to reunite with you, and they're trying to manifest this somehow. They're, and they want a, they want a new beginning. They don't want things to be the way it was. They're wanting it to be new. They're wanting it to be new. They're wanting it to be like something rich and and fulfilling for you and for them and they're wanting to be a better version of themselves virgo you're in an energy of well you were right here trying to get balanced in your with the hangman you're trying to look at things from a different perspective um figure out what's what's best for you what's your next move right but you're just trying to look at things from another angle you know you're not really you're not really thinking about a romantic connection as it stands right now. You're more so you're you're more so in in your pinnacle right now. Yeah. All right. All right, Virgo. So let's let's find out more here. Let's let's go a little deeper here. All right. All right. So angels and spirits and guys and anything that's here for our highest goods. All things possible. Uh, all things um, positive. I'm sorry. Tell me more for the sign of Virgo. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Tell me more. What does Virgo need to know for their highest good in regards to love for the month of July? What are the messages? What are the messages that Virgo needs? What are the messages? Tell us more, please. What else do they need to know in regards to love for the month of July? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you. All right, overall energy, seven of waters. Your person's energy is justice. Your energy is 10 of earth. Yeah, Virgo, you're in your pinnacle. You're feeling very abundant. You could be having um, maybe a new job that's coming towards you, or maybe you just got a new job, pay raise, bonus of some sort um, at work, a promotion of some sort, but you're in your pinnacle. And that's your focus, being abundant, growing your wealth, like generational wealth is what you're trying to produce. The overall energy for the two of you is the seven of water. So, and your person has justice. I feel like your person is, yeah, your person is really, your person is dealing with some form of karma. And, and your person, so you guys are probably not talking right now because they have a sword, but their sword is down, right? Their sword is down. So I don't think you and this person are communicating right now. There's probably some silent treatment that's going on between you and this person in this moment. But I feel like they're going through some form of karma that's trying to bring them to a, a more balanced state themselves. They want to operate in their highest self. And I feel like they were praying to the divine to figure out how to do that. And the divine says... You have to pay your karmic debt in order to get to this empress status that you're trying to get to. It could be male or female. Um, the gender of the card doesn't matter because this is a general reading. 
but that's what your person is going through the, the overall energy is the seven of water so this is talking about um like there's infinite possibilities and i feel like the reason that this card is here is because things are hinging things are hinging off of your person transforming themselves so I feel like your person is feeling they're this is happening because they don't feel like they have another choice. They don't have a choice, but they're they're choosing to answer to their karma. They're choosing they're choosing to to be get into a higher version of themselves which is strange they're wanting to clear their karma they want this is they want to do this it was going to happen regardless but i feel like this person is welcoming this karma although it's painful for them emotionally but they 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 want to change, and not just for you. They want to change for themselves. You're just, you're just fine. You're you're feeling abundant. You're, you know, you're stable, and you're kind of just doing your thing. But you do think about them from time to time because if you look at this card, Virgo, um, and the um, character that's depicted on this card, they are looking over. They're looking over at justice, and it's like a facial expression of wonder it's like you know i'm happy and i have you know I'm, i have things that i want that i desire i'm feeling very abundant but i wonder what could have been it's kind of like what this person's looking like so let's find out more virgo all right so tell us more tell us more about virgo and um the things that's coming towards them the energy that's coming towards them for the month of july and this is in regards to love. What's coming towards the sign of Virgo? That's Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. And this is in regards to love. All right. What messages does Virgo need to know for their highest good for the month of July in regards to love? Thank you so much. And we thank you for the, the messages that we've already gotten and the clarity that we have. Overall energy is love. Your person's energy. The tower. I knew it. That is a serious karma that's happening to this person your card is the strength card so virgo yeah this okay so the two of you virgo so the two of you are you choose one another you're not forgetting about this person this person is not forgetting about you this person this person is going through this transformation is going to be serious so this person realizes that you're moving on. And that's a tower moment for them. And this person is really feeling eight. Yeah. This person is having this, this very, very destructive, very painful tower moment. The tower is a 16, six and one is seven. With the justice card is 11 and one and one is two. So I feel like um, this person, the change is coming. It's gonna happen. They're at a nine right things end at a 10 this person is in the this person is in the thick of some serious karma and transformation that they're dealing with right now and this person understands that they did this to themselves they earned it because they requested to go ahead and clear out their karma i feel like this person has put a request in to the divine to give them let them pay their debt what's coming to them they know that they owe it and they just want to go ahead and pay this karmic debt 
because they want to be a better version of themselves. This person loves you. They're choosing to love you, but you're choosing to love them too, but you're not you're void of emotions at this point. You're trying you want to go towards this person, but you're trying to stand in your strength and and fight that feeling. Cuz if you look at this so the way that it's like this is your energy, Virgo, right? This is your energy. And it's you and the lion in this one. And you're looking over at a woman and the lion in this one. And it's like this is where you're at, but this is what you want to be with your person. Okay, Virgo. All right. Let's get one more and then we'll move on. All right, tell us more, please. Please tell us more. What can Virgo expect? What is the energy that's coming towards Virgo in regards to love for the month of July? Please give us one more message, please. One more message, very clear messages, please. Thank you for the messages that we do have on the board. They're very clear, they're very precise, and we're looking for one more message. And this is for the sign of Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you. All right. So the Hierophant is here, Virgo, as the overall energy. Your person has the Queen of Water, and you have transformation. So Virgo, there is, okay, your person is, is facing their karma, right? Everything has fell apart for this person, everything. And this person is in the thick of, of that energy right now. They're in the thick of it. And, 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 they're, and they're dealing with it. Like they're dealing. They're dealing at the best way that they can. They're dealing with it. You, there's still no emotions here for you. There's none. But your, your person is, they're full of emotion. They're full of emotion. They came in with emotion. They're leaving out of this portion of the reading with emotion. And the energy that they're sharing with you is being in their head and emotions and loving you and wanting a commitment with you. The Hierophant is all about contracts, marriage, um, and, and, and love. So if you look at this card here, um, Virgo, you'll see that there's rings here there's a pen here for signing contracts the cups here right this is this person you guys love each other but this is like a you guys have some kind of soul connection here like you guys there's no way you can separate from one another like you guys have a soul contract that's what this is there is a soul contract here. And no, and you're trying to fight it, but you can't. You're trying, but you can't. You're struggling. And this person has been trying to fight it, and they're coming to a point now where they're acknowledging and accepting it, and they're, they're, they want it now. It's, it's like they... I feel like you're not... I feel like you've tried to move on Virgo because there's no love in your energy and I feel like this person is feeling like like they've lost you and this part so this with the justice and the tower here this person is trying to learn how to love themselves this person is trying to love them this person's trying to learn how to love themselves so they can love you the, the right way. I feel like you were hurt by this person. I feel like you and you've shut this person out. You you've shut, there's no love. You shut them out completely. And this and I feel like this person is very sorry. They're, and I feel like this person is trying to be a better version of them and they're trying to go within and figure out what is what what do they need to what do they need to fix in regards to their emotions? How can they learn to love themselves 
because they want to love you the right way. That's all I can come up with, Virgo. And you're in an energy of transformation. So that's the equivalent to the death card. Virgo, you're trying hard to forget about this person, but you can't. That's what you're doing. You're trying you're trying to forget, but you can't. You're having a hard time forgetting. You're you're functioning, but you can't seem to get let this person go. All right, Virgo. So Let's look at the extra messages that came out and see what they're trying to say. It's the Eight of Air, the King of Earth, and the Six of Earth. So, Virgo, the Eight of Air, um, this is speaking of changing the way you think, um, getting rid of the negative self-talk or, uh, let's see here, changing the way that you... Um, so it's like you're trying to get out of the, the way that you think about or the way that yeah the way that you process things mentally like you're trying to let it's like you're in denial it's like you're in denial about something and you're So, Virgo, it's like you're in denial about something, but you're trying to get to a point of just having the clarity, accepting things for what it really is. Look, Looking at the situation for what it really is, is what you're doing. Take it how it resonates. But that's what I see that you're doing. You're trying to, you're trying to accept things for what it is really is is what you're doing and you're trying to again just focus on your pinnacle um manifest the things you want in a 3d world the the material things the money the the wealth the 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 the, the like the items the that's what you're focusing on just building your like your like your wealth but you're also bringing forth this energy or somebody is harnessing this energy of the six of earth so the six of earth speaks of it's the equivalent to the six of pinnacle so this is like either someone trying to get out of denial about i feel like there's something about money here and maybe you guys were at odds about about finances or something or it could be that you're trying to get this denial the self-doubt type of mental energy out really focus more on your pinnacle could be a new job could be a promotion of some sort and there's like yeah yeah it could be a job that's coming towards you that you're debating on yeah. And you're you're having some doubts about it. You're not sure. But I feel like um the reason that you are looking at things, trying to look at things, I feel like there this connection is holding you in place when there's some opportunity but it requires you to Okay, give me a minute. I'm just trying to here is I'm hearing so many different possibilities of what this is saying. I just I feel like there is something because the six of earth this is the good tarot deck. And this six of earth could also mean something in love being given back to you, like the divine being generous to you and giving something back, another opportunity for something. And I think that's what this is, Virgo. 
All right, Virgo. So take that as it resonates. Now let's see what the outcome is for you. Let's see here. Right now we're at 24.55. 24 minutes, 55 seconds. What is the potential outcome for the sign of Virgo? What is the potential outcome for Virgo in this love reading for the month of July? What is the potential outcome for the sign of Virgo, please? What is the potential outcome? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. We're looking for the potential outcome for this reading in love. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. What is the potential outcome, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, last shuffle. And we thank you for the very clear, very precise answers here. All right, potential outcome. Overall energy is the star. Your person's energy is the five of air. Your energy is the 10 of earth. Yeah. Virgo, you're just in your pinnacle and like you you don't see anything else at this point. Um, meanwhile, you do have your own um, hopes and wishes, but you're just not letting them consume you. Your person is being totally consumed by something. Um, they're, your person, they're, they're in their head. Real tough. Real tough. But they are trying to, um, they're trying to transform. They're, they're trying to transform. Now, the five of air is about mental conflict is what I feel it is. It could be the conflict between the two of you. Um, and, and the star could be here to heal it. And I feel like your person still has some um, some some conflict, but they're, they're leaping out of that energy. So they're about to move forward and grow. They're learning. Your person's learning. They're, they're learning. They're, they're moving into a more, like a higher, more authentic version of themselves. And they're learning from, from the things that have took place in the past that brought forth this conflict between the two of you. And your person's learning a lesson here. And they're actually learning it. They're internalizing it. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about all the things that they have done. Right, and they're they're ascending. They're they're going into a, a higher version of themselves. They're realizing how the things that they did. I just I've never noticed that before. But there's like a there's like a high wire right here that this person is actually walking in. They're realizing how dangerous their actions were in the past. How 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 um. Dangerous is the only word I can come up with, but how it didn't serve them in a positive way. You're you're still focused on your pinnacle, but you're still looking over there at that person. So it's like you you're staying grounded, you're staying focused, but I feel like you still think about them from time to time. You still think about them and wonder. All right, Virgo. So let's get some more for this outcome. Tell me more, please. This is for the sign of Virgo. That's Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Tell me more, please. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome? What are the additional messages for Virgo? What are the additional messages, please? What are the additional messages? This is for the sign of Virgo. This is for the month of July. Virgo sun, moon, rising. What are the additional messages in regards to love for the sign of Virgo, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Virgo. The messenger of fire is here. The ace of earth is here. And the ace of water is here. All right, Virgo. So I feel like there was some, um, I feel like there was some, some cheating, some, some ghosting, some in and out type of energy that took place. And considering that this messenger of fire has her head turned away from this side, I feel like it was your person that may have had that player energy. That you were dealing with and that's why you are completely void of emotions until now so coming towards the end of the month of july you're considering this ace of waters here your person is coming in very stable with a very solid offer of a new beginning a restart button but it's very solid it's very solid but i feel like when they make this offer Virgo, you're going to be very stubborn about it. You're going to be very stubborn. You want to take it, but you're going to be stubborn about it. 
but I feel like, I mean, you both, you both are, are in the, um, you both have new beginning energy and it's the, you, you have the good ones. Like for me, the, the water and the earth. New beginnings are good, but the ace has potential to be bad, and the and the uh, fire has the potential to be bad because it can just be someone wanting to have sex with you. The ace could be someone being very sharp or being cut off or giving you a silent treatment. So they they have a potential to be negative. There's nothing negative about the ace of water, and there's nothing negative about the ace of cups. So these are the very uh, two very positive new beginnings here in uh, the tarot. All right, so let's get more here. This is for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. What is the potential outcome? We're looking for more messages for the potential outcome for the sign of Virgo. This is for the month of July. Uh, sun, moon, rising, sign of Virgo, and this is for love. What is the potential outcome for the sign of Virgo? Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Thank you for the clear messages that we already have. And we're looking for a few more clear messages here. Thank you so much. Ace of fire. We just talked about that, but it's here. And I don't mind because it's coming, it's the energy that you share, but you both are harnessing a positive ace and you're sharing some passion. It's nothing wrong with that, Virgo. All right. This person has the two of fire. Your energy is the six of water. So Virgo, when this person comes through with this offer, they're gonna be very, um, they're gonna be very open and very transparent about um, what they say to you, right? They're going to let you know this person has made a decision. They've chosen a path. So their 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 decision is made. Okay? It's made. And and it's not gonna change. Their decision is made. And coming towards the end of this month, you both are gonna want this ace of fire, right? This new idea, this new passion, um, and this just desire. This crave to come towards one another. You think about them. And towards the end of the month, like as, as we progress through the month of July, you're going to think about them more and more. You're going to start romanticizing and, and getting very nostalgic about this person. All right? So where you, you've you been void of your emotions um, for quite some time. And so when you do end up in your emotions, it's going to flood. You're going you're gonna to be flooded by these emotions. Right? All right, so let's find out more. This is for the sign of Virgo. This is Virgo sun, moon, rising. What is the potential outcome? We're looking for more messages here. And we thank you for the messages that we have here on the table as it stands. And we're just looking for a little more clarity here. This is for the sign of Virgo. That's Virgo sun, moon, and rising. What are the messages in love for the month of July? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we have the seven of fire here. That's the overall energy. Your person has the sun card and you have the strength card. Virgo, you're going to continue to try to be stubborn. And I think you're not necessarily even being stubborn, Virgo. I think you're afraid and you're trying to stand in your strength, right? You're trying to, but you're actually headed towards the sun. I Now, and I've never noticed that. It's like sun is beaming from this corner and you're, you're heading towards it, albeit you're afraid. But it looks like you're going towards it. Okay, your person has the sun. So your person is, this person is new. After they come out of that, that transformation that they're going to go through with that tower and that uh, karma, your person is coming out brand new, right? And the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Like your person has ascended to a, a, a much higher version of themselves. Like they're brand new money at this point. Like a new shiny penny, right? And now they're ready to grow something. They want to grow something with you. This is this is about, this can speak of reconciling. But this is a reconciliation that the divine now says, yes, I approve. This is going to grow, okay? And this is the mindset that your person will be in as we progress through the month of um, July. This is the energy that your person uh, will be moving into. All right, they may not be there now. And just keep in mind, energy is fluid. So it may not necessarily happen, you know, by the end of the month, but this is the direction that they're going. The seven of fire is the overall energy. So your person wants to be their personal best for you. They don't care what anybody thinks anymore. They don't care about, you know, 
how somebody else may feel. What they care about now is their happiness. And you're feeling that way too. You just care about what, what makes you happy, what inspires you. Your person is learning how to compromise. With the seven of fire in the sun here, your person's learned how to better function in a relationship. They're learning compromise. They're learning, or they will have learned give and take. They will have learned how to, how to grow something, right? How to nurture something so that it grows, right? Yeah, how to nurture something so that it grows. Your person is not interested in building any more karmic debts here. And if they do, your person is looking for, for good things to come. So if they have to pay some karma, they're going to put the good out in the world. Shine their light, right? Be a ray of sunshine so that whatever karma they get, it's uh, just as good as what they put out. All right, so tell us more here. This is for the sign of Virgo. This is for the sign of Virgo. This is for the sign of Virgo. Last message, please. This is for the month of July. What can Virgo expect in the outcome for the month of July? This is in regards to love. What is the final message? What is the final message that Vir Virgo needs? Virgo needs for the month of July. In love, final outcome. Thank you. Nine of fire, overall energy. Your person has the two of water. And Virgo, you have the queen of air. My goodness, Virgo. So, okay. So, the overall energy is the nine of fire. Burning away things that no longer is for your highest good because you are wanting to have some form of a victory. Right? It's like giving in to things... It's like, uh, so the nine of fire, your person has the two of water. So for your person, it's like this, this person is now reevaluating how they move, how they handle their passion, how they offer up their passion. Your person is wanting to just have a one-on-one -on -one connection. Your person's wanting to be in love. Your person's choosing love. They're burning away the old them. They don't want to do it that way anymore. Because the, the this character in the fire card is looking over in the direction of the two. So I feel like your person is harnessing this energy more so than you are. Virgo, you're, you have the queen of air. So your reason for trying to stand in your strength and you're very, very... Um, serious about standing in that strength is because you're using your win your wisdom from things that you've dealt with so when the queen of air is here it, that means that this person has gone through a lot of lessons they've dealt with a lot they've been hurt a lot okay and so now this person doesn't have time for the bs they're not dealing with any crap they're not gonna put up with the bullshit the lies none of that the queen of air does not put up with bullshit. She says what she means, and she means what she says. And she she's very confident in her decisions because she brings a ton of wisdom. Do you see how large the owl is that's sitting on her shoulder? So owls represent wisdom. And the queen of air, she uses her wisdom, everything that she's learned through all the lessons that she's dealt with. And that's how she makes her decisions. So once she's made a decision, that's it. Okay? And that's the energy that you you will have in this outcome, Virgo. I don't know if you're going to accept whatever is offered here by this person or not. You want a new beginning in love. You're you are nostalgic. You love this person. But you're trying you're you're denying it. You're de you're trying you're trying not to, but you do. You do. You love this person. And you have the ten of earth, ace of water, the six of water. You want this connection. But you want it to be stable. You want it the right way is, is what it is. All right, Virgo. So that's your reading, Virgo. I hope this gave you some insight. Oh, before we go, you had some extras that came out. Let's see what the extra messages were. The messenger of earth, the three of earth, and the king of fire. So what this is here to say is that so there's going to be there's going to be an offer that's going to come through but it's a slow moving offer because the messenger of earth 
when I say the offer that they bring forth is an, a well thought through, a very stable, they've covered all the details, uh, no stone left unturned, uh, very thorough in the way that they came upon deciding, you know, what offer to make. And so this offer, this person's going to like come through with integrity. A lot of hard work is going to be put into whatever this is that they're going to come in to offer. And it has a lot to do, it's, it's, it's with reconciling with you. They want to come back and they want to collaborate with you. And it's going to be very solid. Like there's not any deception. There's no lies. This person is going to be very grounded. And this person is going to come in and know exactly what they want. This person looks at you as a soulmate. This person feels like um, like you are very uh, spiritual, um, feeling like um, you, you do have some form of gift. Um, you are backed by the divine. They feel like you could be psychic in a sense or a very intuitive person. Um, this person, their, their heart only beats for you, Virgo, and they, they can't let you go. And they've gone through a transformation and they've dealt with their dark side, their shadow side, and they did this for you. It's for them as well. It benefits them, but they did this for you. So those were the extra messages. All right, Virgo. So I hope that helped. Um, sending you love and light. And we will see you in the next video. If this video does resonate with you, please subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you to be a part of the family. And also make sure that you hit the bell so you don't miss any of the videos that's going to come out. It will notify you. All right. So Virgo, we'll see you in the next reading. All right. Take care.